What's up guys, today's video is on the top 3 best long-range electric bikes in 2023. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Number 3 ANCHR Sunshine Electric Bike The ANCHR 26 electric mountain bike packs all you need to ensure your top performance while out riding hills and trails. With the perfect combination of professional 21 Shimano gears, 3 chain rings at the front and 7 sprockets at the rear, and 500W pedal assistance as well as throttle accelerating to speeds of 20 mph will be no issue at all, the 12.5AH battery means a long range which make it the perfect adventure bike. The Anchier Sunshine Electric Bike has the perfect blend of road performance and power to give you the ride of your life. The frame was constructed from aviation-grade aluminum alloy, which is equal parts, strong, lightweight, and incredibly responsive. The design of the frame is designed according to the human body mechanics. Together with the dual disc brakes and high-strength steel suspension fork, you will enjoy a comfortable riding experience. This electric bike adopts the 36V 10.4A lithium-ion battery, 350W stable brushless motor, empowering each and with more speed, more freedom and more fun with the perfect combination of professional 21 speed gearing and 500W 5 levels pedal assistance as well as throttle accelerating to speeds of 22 miles per hour. The newest ANCHR 27.5 electric mountain bike will give you good experience of riding. The high strength and light weight forks and 27.5 tire will absorb any bumps on the way down the trail. Number 2 Haybike Mars Electric Bike the Haybike Mars is a rugged fat tire all-terrain e-bike with a 500W motor, 48-mile range, front and seat suspension, and a removable battery. It folds up so you can throw it in the back of your car, and has a pannier rack to carry your luggage. It looks incredible and it's mad fun to ride. You can grab one right now for a little over $1,000 on Amazon, which is a steal. The Haybike Mars arrived in a large 35 kilograms box, and is folded up for transport, so the box isn't as long as you might expect, but it is wide. Despite the bottom of our box being wide open on arrival, everything was well packaged and seemingly secure. There's very little construction to do, just unfold the bike, cut some cable ties, then insert the seat and handlebar. The front and rear mudguards come fitted as standard, as does the front and rear lighting. The most obvious feature of the Haybike Mars is the imposing fat tires, measuring 4 inches wide and 20 inches diameter. They feature a deep tread, and wouldn't be out of place on a small dirt bike. The inside rim also features red highlights, where the inner tubes seem to bulge out slightly. It's only a minor visual flare, but certainly effective. You'll turn heads everywhere when you roll up in this, the 500W motor sits on the rear hub, and is driven by a cadence sensor. More expensive e-bikes use a torque model for finer control, which detect exactly how much effort you're having to put into pedaling, and adjust accordingly. Cadence sensors tend to be a little unrefined, kicking into action at full speed once they detect motion. I will however note that the cadence sensor on the Haybike is the most responsive I've tried yet. It doesn't take much motion for it to start. Number 1 VeloWave Ranger Electric Bike One of the Ranger's standout characteristics is its frame design. The large 720WH battery is integrated seamlessly into the down tube, giving it the appearance of a more expensive model. Likewise, most of the cabling is routed through the frame, but it is messy in the front. The VeloWave Ranger e-bike looks modern, has integrated battery and cabling, and features a plush suspension fork for off-road riding. Full integration, as seen on this VeloWave e-bike, usually raises the weight slightly, meaning the Ranger is quite heavy, despite not having fenders, a rack, or a taillight. The model-specific rack and fenders weigh 4.5 pounds, which would take the weight to 79 pounds, higher than average for this type of bike. Thank you watching this video do like and subscribe.